Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I wore a lot of fragrances this past week. Um, I was just like really in the mood to really dig into my collection and pull out some things that I haven't worn. Um, we had like a couple of kind of cold days and so I pulled out some um, some cozy winter fragrances. We've also had a lot of warm days this week. So I pulled out some uh, fragrances that are great for warmer weather but are still super cozy. And yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is this one here from Be Layered. This is called Bella the Irresistible. Um, I've only given this a one good wear test one other time and it was like right after they, right after they first sent it to me and I haven't worn it since and so I pulled it out because I knew I needed to give it some love. This is a clone of Perfumes de Marly Cassilli. Now I will tell you, I did not like Cassilli. Um, I tried a, <laughs> I tried a sample of it. I picked up a sample of it from Lucky Scent like right when it first came out. And I remember putting it on right before going out shopping and oh my gosh, it made me nauseous. Like when I was driving to shop, I remember just feeling so nauseous because Kisili smelled like rotting fruit on my skin. Seriously, like overripe rotting fruit on my skin. Bella the Irresistible does not do that at all. This is so beautiful. It's fruits and flowers. It's got like a honeyed kind of quality to it. Like you can almost smell the texture of honey and the sweet florals and fruit. And it's so beautiful and it was an absolute beast on me. Um, this got me, I mean, I, well, number one, I couldn't apply another fragrance that day because this never wore off. Um, so yeah, I easily got 10, 12 hours out of this. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. If you guys are looking for a good alternative to Cassilli, um, this is a great one. It does smell very, very similar to it as well. Like almost, you almost can't tell the difference, but something about this one and how it reacted with my chemistry was not at all like the original Perfumes de Marly. Um, my skin did not like the original one, but my skin definitely loves this one. It's just beautiful. It's just such a good fragrance and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. So anyways, that is Bella the Irresistible from Be Layered. I need to get on to Be Layered's website because I forget about them and they pre they release stuff all the time and I'm like, I feel like I'm just like out of touch with whatever is happening over at Be Layered. But anyways, um, next, this is one that I wore to bed. I love this fragrance. This is one that somebody sent me over a big old decant of this and I need to pick up a bottle of it because it is so, so affordable too. This is called LT Piver Heliotrope Blanc. And yeah, she sent this big, huge decant. I love this. This is straight up heliotrope. Beautiful, powdery, almond-like heliotrope. It's so, so good. The only problem with this is it lasts all of five minutes on you. Um, you get to enjoy it for seriously five or ten minutes after you spray it on and then it's just gone. Um, I also think that when you buy this in a bottle, it's like a big huge splash bottle. I don't think it comes with a sprayer. So I would have to have, I would have to buy myself like a perfume bottle too to put it in because I can't do a big old splash bottle. But boy, do I love this. If you like Heliotrope, I think you would really like it. I do believe they carry this on Fragrance Net. Um, yeah, I'll definitely have something linked down below as to where you can pick this up, but I do know it's very, very affordable, and I do know that I need to get a bottle of it in my collection badly. So anyways, that is LT Piver Heliotrope Blanc. This next one is the fragrance that I'm wearing today. This is Robert Piguet Petite Fraca, and it's really, really warm out today. It's beautiful outside. I need to get done filming and get my butt out there because it is stunning. It's like 74 degrees. It's breezy. It's beautiful. It's perfect and it is the perfect day for this fragrance. This is basically Fraca, but it's a lighter version and it's got a load of pear in it. So it's got this really beautiful, sweet, juicy, fresh pear, 
and Sweet Bubblegummy Tuberose. It does, in fact, I'm gonna reapply a little bit because it does, it does start to wear quite close to the skin after a couple hours. Oh, but I love it. It's a really stunning, tu sweet tuberose fragrance. Mm, I love it. It's a lighter version with pear of Fricka, basically, and I really, really like it. Would I pay like full price for a bottle? Probably not. If I could find a bottle for a decent price, I would definitely pick it up. Um, it is really beautiful though. So that is Petite Fricka. And I couldn't tell you the exactly how it performs. I can tell you after a couple of hours, it does wear quite close to the skin. You can still smell it. Um, and I'm quite sure people would still be able to smell it on you. But yeah, I feel like after probably four or five hours, you would have to reapply. Next, I wore Gallagher Fragrances Wicked Good. Um, I just love this fragrance. This is the most beautiful dark tonka bean and chocolate fragrance ever. It's so, so cozy. I wore this on one of the cooler days this week. It's just so, so cozy and just such a perfect fragrance. I love it. Like I can't stop wearing this fragrance. I haven't been able to stop wearing this since I picked it up. It's just, it's just one of my favorite things on the planet. Um, I think I layered this over some just kind of plain vanilla lotion and it's beautiful. This one does last a long time um, as far as performance wise, but it does start to wear quite close to the skin after about an hour or two, but you will be able to smell it on yourself in your clothing all day long. And that's usually all I care about. If I can smell it and enjoy it, I'm happy. So anyways, that is Wicked Good from Gallagher. So oh my gosh, such, this would probably knock something out of my previous like 10 for life and I would probably have to have this because I love it so much. So anyways, Gallagher Wicked Good. Uh, next, I finally pulled this baby out. I haven't worn this all winter and I cannot believe it, but I finally pulled this out yesterday and wore this and oh my gosh. Um, I am to the point where I am rationing this fragrance, so it's probably a good thing I've only worn it once this year, um, and I probably will only wear it once a year because I can't be without this fragrance. This is C. Le Parfum from Armani. Oh my gosh. This is amber, but this is loaded with black currant. So you get this really beautiful black currant and then like a traditional amber. I love this fragrance. It's kind of like a slightly fruity amber fragrance. It's so warm and cozy and comforting. I love this fragrance. It, because I only pull this out like once a year, it always reminds me of the first year I got it, which I think was maybe three years ago now. I think it was three years ago now. Um, and that fall, and that was just a good, that was just like a really good year. Um, that was like pre-COVID, it was just, life, life was much better. So this always reminds me of those times, like that fall. And I love it. It's just so good. So anyways, that is C Le Parfum, such a beautiful black currant amber. The performance on this is so good too. Um, I can easily get eight, 10 hours out of this. Um, it's a really good performer. Okay, next, um, I wore this fragrance here. This is Reminiscence Les Notes Gourmand Drague. This is a really, really nice fragrance. It just, yeah, it's good. I really enjoy this. It does not last any time at all though. This is one of those that you would have to reapply probably every hour and a half, two hours, if you wanted to continue to smell like this. Um, or that was my experience. My skin ate this up like no other. Like I couldn't even smell it after an hour on me. I would have had to have reapplied. I just ended up applying something else. Um, but somebody commented on one of my videos saying that she, somebody said somewhere that Prin Killian Princess smells like this. Um, or that Dragae smells like Killian Princess. So 
thankfully the day that I read that comment is the day that I was wearing Dragay, so um, I tested it. So I gave myself a quick top up of Dragay. I, you know, like I do, if you guys have seen me spray on perfume, you know, I went to town with it. And then I waited for it to settle down a little bit and then I sprayed Princess on my hand to um, compare and contrast. And I will say that they're definitely similar, but if you're looking for something that smells like Princess, I don't think that this is it. Um, they're similar kinds of fragrances, but Princess is sweeter, it's got something tart in it. Um, it's much more complex and it just, it has many more layers than Dragay does. It's just beautiful. It's sweet and marshmallowy and just beautiful. Now Dragay is marshmallowy too, but this is like a powdery marshmallowy where Princess is not marshmallowy, or sorry, Princess is not powdery at all. But Dragay is. It's got, yeah, it's definitely got more of a nutty, powdery aspect to it than Princess. So I would not say that these are like a dupe for each other at all. Um, I still haven't found anything to be a good replacement for the real Princess. Like I need a full bottle in my life, honestly. And somebody told me that the Dua version is not good. So I'm sad, which I'm like, is it not good? Or was it just not good at the very beginning? You had to let it macerate. Um, or did you let it macerate and it still wasn't good? Um, I don't know. And I've also had people tell me that the Dua version is really, really good. So, and lasts a lot longer. Um, Princess, I have worn this and have had it last and perform really well for me. But the last time I wore it, it didn't perform well at all. So I don't know. Okay, next I wore my Vicky Teal Femme Absolu. Um, this is such a good fragrance. It's such a good cheapie. It's like a $12 fragrance and it's so enjoyable. It's, it's like a kind of slightly dark, sweet floral with a touch of powderiness to it. It's really beautiful. It reminds me, it, it has that 90s kind of DNA, that 90s vibe to it, which is what I really love about it. It's just good. It didn't last long on me though. This is, like you would have to reapply this every, I don't know, probably few hours. You'll get maybe three hours out of it. It's not horrible, um, but it's not the best. But for $12, dude, who cares? It's um, this is a huge bottle. Like this is a 3.4 ounce bottle for like 12 bucks. So I'm totally fine with having to reapply it three or four times a day. It's like not a big deal at all. I love this. It makes me happy. It's one of those fragrances that it just makes me happy. So anyways, that is Vicky Teal Femme Absolu. And you can see why I wore so many fragrances this week because a lot of these don't last very long. And so I would spray something else on that day. Okay, next I wore this guy here. This is Dua Dark Chocolate Rum and Vanilla. And I wore this one because I've been waiting for this. I've been letting it sit for months and months and months, um, waiting to see if when I do if at some point it's going to start performing better. <laughs> um, and sadly it doesn't. This is a dupe of, I think, Guerlain's Gourmand Coquine. It's beautiful though. It really is like dark chocolate and rum and creamy vanilla. That's exactly what it smells like. It's amazing. It just doesn't last very long on me. I think I can get maybe two hours out of this. Um, total. I also tried layering this with Wicked Good to see if that would help. It didn't help. I also tried layering this with Skylar Vanilla to see if it would help. It did not help. It just doesn't last very long. You can see that's why I have such a huge dent in this because I overspray like crazy. But I will tell you, it's so enjoyable that even the little bit of time that I get out of this, I enjoy it so, so much that I don't mind having to reapply. It's just such a yummy fragrance. So anyways, that is Dark Chocolate Rum and Vanilla from Dua. 
Next, we have Skylar Vanilla. Um, I wore this by itself as well as layered with the Dua. This one does not last any time at all. This is vanilla and it's got like an espresso or a cappuccino note in it or something. It doesn't last any time at all. You can get maybe an hour out of this on your skin. I meant to layer this with the Eau de Parfum to see if that would help and I'm going to do that and I will definitely, um, I will definitely update you guys on if that helps at all with this, but I have a feeling oh, wow. it won't. And then last but not least, I wore this guy here. This is Fresh Brown Sugar. Um, I love this fragrance. This is a perfect transitional fragrance for transitioning from winter into spring. It's like creamy, sweet lemon curd. That's exactly what it smells like. Creamy, sweet lemon curd. So it's got the freshness and like the zing from the lemon. So it definitely gives you like, okay, we're getting into warm weather, but it's still super, super cozy. Ugh, it is just so good. It's one of those fragrances that kind of makes my mouth water. And I love how this is on my skin. It's a beast on me. I can spray this on in the morning and I do overspray. I go to town with everything and this will get me through an entire day. It's one of those fragrances that every time you move, you get a whiff of this gorgeous, sweet lemon. Oh my gosh, it's just so amazing. It's like, I don't know, it's almost like Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris, but if you took away the pastry part of it, if you just had the sweet, creamy, sugary lemon, that's exactly what this is. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite things ever. I've been obsessed with this fragrance since like the early 2000s. I specifically looked for like an old bottle of it and thankfully I did find an older bottle of it on, I think on Mercari and I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. This is one of those fragrances that every time I wear it, I'm like, oh my gosh, why don't I wear you more? And part of it is because I'm, I kind of ration it because I don't want to blow through it because I know I won't be able to find a bottle like this again and because it lasts so long. Oh my gosh. Hey mom, um, if you see the middle finger emoji in your um, recent emojis, that's only because I misclicked it, so. Okay. Yeah, I, I was trying to click the emoji that was like doing this, but I accidentally clicked this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was trying to tell someone to leave my funway account because they were being rude. And like all of a sudden, I just see the middle finger appear, and I'm like, mm, who tapped that? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it was me. Duh. Oh, I no. did it on accident. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. So. Okay. So, yeah, I just sprayed this on my hand, and oh my gosh. It's just amazing. It's one of those fragrances that's just magic on my skin. It's, it's just amazing amazing it's sugary lemon but like rich sugary lemon it's so good so anyways yeah that is fresh brown sugar this is still available at sephora i have no idea if it's been reformulated or not but i have a feeling it's still amazing um whether it's been reformulated or not i'm pretty sure or i would imagine it's still incredible it's just such a good fragrance so anyways that is fresh brown sugar and that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.